island shimmers like a pearl in the waters of Lake Kimse, here at the foot of the Bavarian Alps. Frauen Kimse is just 570 meters long and some 260 meters wide. Georg Klumpfleutner was born on the island, so he's used to being surrounded by water. It's a good life here on the water. When you get up at 6.30 in the morning, you can head out for a swim. Anytime you can go to the lake for a row, you can go sailing, swimming. Even when you're at work, you can take a 10-minute break for a quick swim. Owning a boat is a must if you live on the island to go shopping or for paying a visit to friends on the mainland. There are no cars on Frauen Chiemsee. The best way to explore the island is on foot. The island is also home to the Benedictine Frauenwort Abbey, founded in the year 782. The bell tower with its distinctive onion dome is the island's most famous landmark. Many Bavarian artists and academics are buried in the island cemetery. Opposite the church is the Carolingian Gatehouse, the oldest convent building on the island. Inside, there's a well-preserved Romanesque fresco depicting angels. A special attraction is the view from the Lindenplatz. The trees here were planted more than a thousand years ago. It's great to live in such a popular location, a place that has so many attractions. The lake, the nearby mountains. The cities of Munich and Salzburg are so close by. The entire Chiemgau region is really an amazing place. Klump Leutner runs the local pottery workshop, which has been in the family since 1723. It produces stove tiles using molds that are over 300 years old. The Klamp-Leutner stoves are famous in the region and beyond. We built stoves for German President Theodor Heuss, who had them installed in the Villa Hammerschmidt. Man for the romantic hotel Julen in Zermatt, Switzerland. For the suite where the Belgian king and queen always stay in the winter. And of course, we've also supplied all the homes here in the area. The island first became popular because of the artists who came here in the early 19th century in search of beautiful landscapes to inspire their work. It was the start of the tradition of the Kimze painters, who created hundreds of landscapes of the island over the years. Thousands of tourists come here each day, but at 8 each evening, the last of the day trippers depart, and the island again belongs to its 330 inhabitants. A single visit to the Frauen Chiemsee isn't nearly enough, says Georg Klumpleutner. To truly appreciate what the island has to offer would take years.